last time on Boat Build. So that was a lot of fun. We got a good feel for the scale of our project. We now know how we're gonna lay out our picnic boat. Let's get back to the shop and see how Billy's doing over at Coastal Boat Work with the actual build. This is Boat Build. All right, let's pull it out onto the other side, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we can start making the shoe piece. You got the steel off my boat. Ah, sorry about that. Big hole, big hole. <laughs> Gotta sink fast. Be the best looking boat at the bottom of the hole. So, we, so I'm, I'm guessing we don't need that chunk. No, we don't need that at all. You guys put that right on the horses, please. Yeah. All right, did you see my sketching? I did. Look well, great. All right, we took the eraser to the garage floor twice. We got it all sketched out. We go down there, we sit on the seats, barbecue a little bit. <laughs> so what we found out was we left about 18 feet right. for our aft entertainment area mm -hmm. and sort of salon. And then from the bulkhead forward, we had about 12 feet. Does that right. seem right to you? Yeah, and the measurements I was looking at the show and uh, yeah, the measurements are pretty spot on. So I figured, you know, a little less room below and more room out back where we're going to spend most of our time, right? right. So that, was, that plan looks like it'll work. Yep. What are you doing here? Well, we cut the keel off and we're about to make the shoe. The shoe is the piece that fits inside and that's in case you start dragging on the ground. Mm, what's something. the shoe made of? The shoe is just regular pine. There's okay. nothing too fancy because we're going to be glassing it inside and out. But in case you chew through the glasswork on the outside, you'll have a good chunk of wood that you'll be able to rub right on. As we talked about in the past, this boat came out of a mold that was set up more for an inboard engine. Big, right. heavy keel, deep keel. Right. We don't need that, right? No, no, you don't want that. That's just going to create drag, mm -hmm. and that's going to end up directing the boat when you have outboards on it. We don't want that at all. So what's the function of this shorter keel on our boat? Well, the shorter keel acts like, because we have no strakes under the boat, it's going to act like a strake, and that's just going to keep you straight. All right? okay. It won't cause a lot of drag, but it'll give you enough as you pick up speed to hold the boat straight, that's what right. we want. Otherwise you'll get... Yeah, you know, the faster you go, the more it's gonna to wanna to try and walk. You know, right. this boat is probably not gonna be doing over 30 anyway, mm -hmm. so we'll be right spot on just with the keel at the height where we're at. All right, let's go take a look at that chunk. Oh, absolutely, off. let's go check it out. All right. That's a big chunk of keel there, bro. That sure is, it's not as heavy as it looks because it's only a skin coat, but... Right. Now, the shoe, Here's a piece of pine right here. And okay. what they're gonna do is they're gonna measure the inner portion of this, which comes out to about five and a half. Right. So they're gonna take this and they're gonna slip this all the way. That is going to be installed underneath and pinned from the side. All right, so it fits. So what we have underneath right now is this opening. Exactly. Open to the bottom of the boat. Exactly. So that's just gonna fill that hole and then that, that becomes a shoe, it gets fiberglass over and we're good to go. Right, we're gonna fiberglass the inside first to get it stiff and then we're going to remove the screws because we don't want screws under mm -hmm. here. Then we're gonna grind it, round it, shape it and then we're going to glass up underneath very heavily we're probably going to do uh, a couple of wovens in there and a couple of mats all right because you want that I mean that's right if you if you happen to run the ground on something or skim yeah. something that's going to hit first you want right we strong. want that to hit first rather than the boat all right so what are these for you know? well these are your fuel cells these are 70 gallon a piece uh they are Leftovers from an older project. Which is what we're all about on this building. That's right. right. And these aluminum uh, epoxied over, okay. never been used. So we're just going to install a couple of new uh, sending units and install them in your boat. So we're about ready to bring these up once right. we get working on the deck. Yep. I know you have another deck project going on over yeah, there. Yeah, I want to check it out. I'll, I'll show you what yours is going to look like. Absolutely. Alright, well there's the deck. Why don't we climb up here and check it out. Alright, so this is about what we'll be looking at on our boat, right? right. This kind of a deck? Yes, this kind of construction. This is three quarter CDX, glass on the back side. Yep. It's solid. Yeah. So you've already glassed the CDX on the back side and it goes down that way. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, we're getting ready to glass this. This is going to get a heavy, heavy layup for him. Right. So we're going to actually be glassing the outside first, the edge, which with a, with a mat woven mat. Okay. And then after that kicks up a little bit, we're gonna prepare our wovens 
and we're gonna do a mat woven mat right up onto that. So he's gonna have double on the chine because he really works this boat hard. He's gonna be over here pulling and yeah. doing his thing. How long does it take for that process? The mat woven mat. Here's our machine, right? Yep. It's well, with the done. help with this, we should be done uh, probably in a half an hour to 45 minutes on a deck this size. Really? Yeah. We spent a lot of time prepping this, so we shouldn't have any problems or any hiccups doing this. So you just hit it. It goes right on the plywood. Yep, we're going to wet the plywood real quick, run a chop, and then we're going to put the pre-cut woven yep. down, and then roll that in, and then chop over that, roll that in, move back. So when you do the deck, mm -hmm. right, you, the woven goes right up to the sides, is it just sort of lay flat and then move right up? Yep, we pre-cut it so it goes up about six inches. Perfect. Yeah, that, once that's in, it's not going anywhere, right? No, no, especially because we pre-do the edge anyway. Yeah. We have to do that because we got to make sure that that's right. That's, that's probably the weakest point, but yet needs to be the strongest. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing under there, no shoe or any kind of piece to hold it. So our glass work has got to be spot on. What do you have here? This little, will this end up being bright work or just going to be glass work? No, this is, get, this is prepared for glassing. Uh, we just got a little bit more grinding to do on the outside. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a couple layups over this. Uh, this is where the cabin ended on this particular boat. So we're going to continue the, uh, the gunnel side all the way around. So a bolt's all about the stringers and the, and the deck, right? When it comes down to it, I mean, that's the structural integrity of a boat. Absolutely. And the way you do it, and the way you're going to do it on our 30, that's a forever yeah. deck, right? Yeah, it's there forever. Now, some of the decks in, in, in highly manufactured boats, and the boats, you know, that come from the churn-out factories, they're made of a core. There's, I mean, what, what is that material? Well, you, I had a boat that... The deck rotted out, and it ended right. up being like a, some kind of a core material. What is that? Well, you, some manufacturers just use three-quarter plywood, mm -hmm. which, I mean, at first is okay, uh, but what happens is the, the plywood delaminates. Yeah. So you, you can use a core. They have Penske core and mm -hmm. stuff, but the problem with that is they only make eight-foot pieces. They don't make anything long. So what we use, we did a four-stringer system on this. We used... Uh, uh, two by 12, 24 feet long, four of them. Okay. And they're 22, 21 inches tall because it's a deep V boat. So right. we had to add a piece up underneath. So what we did was we added that piece, we prepped everything, and we glassed it mm -hmm. just to the bottom. And then I took mat woven mat with the gun right. and we wrapped it right back down. So when you take a piece of board, mm -hmm. either pine or plywood, once you wrap that in fiberglass, you've got a piece of fiberglass, right? I mean, it's just... Yeah, but you still have a certain amount of moisture content under the deck mm -hmm. from the heat of the sun, from right. the coolness of the water back and forth, mm -hmm. taking it in and out of the water. So uh, a lot of uh, the customers that I deal with in the commercial industry have me put air ducts in. So like, I'll put an air duct in each corner and one in the front. Now we'll get some flow of air going. I see. And that will help Ventilation. keep it. Yeah, keep it at will a Will we have that on our 30? Yeah, you'll have a bit of that on a 30, okay. absolutely. Yeah, by the time we're done with the rigging tubes and stuff like that, there'll be plenty of air flow. Bill, as we've seen along this series, Coastal Boatworks does this kind of work. And it's the kind of work you're doing on our 30, which is fantastic. Let's talk about the boat show. We're ready to head up there mm -hmm. and look at the raw 16, right? Yes. Uh, Goose Homex, who is a dealer for us, has a raw 16 up there and on display. Now, I heard there's a little tank. There's some kind of a tank that you built up there, too, that I'm hearing right. a lot of vibe about. Well, we have two big water tanks up there. We have a big long one, which demonstrates casting and showing how the lures uh, run through the water. Because Goose Hummock sells a lot of lures and, and out, uh, outside fitting for fishing and stuff like that. And then we just recently built a upright tank, which is 12 feet tall, filled with water, and it demonstrates jigging. And that way you can look through the windows and watch how the jig works. So it was built right here in the shop yep. by you and the boys. Yes. Let's go check it out. Okay. All right. Let's go to Boston. All right. Next time on Boat Build. All right. I found a bill. Hey. I'll tell you what, man. She cleans up nice. Yeah. You yeah. get all the details? Well, I'm getting everybody's fingerprints off my boat. <laughs> <laughs> This is Boat Build, right here at The Drift.
presented by Sociable, original social media programming.